to do selections in Photoshop, and we covered this in class. But in case you forgot or you missed that day, we're just going to do this quick little video on how to use the different tools. So we are going to start with the marquee tools. They are up here. You have four options. You have rectangular, elliptical, single row, single column. So if I picked rectangular like that, I would just drag and drop like you do for normal selections. And if I were to move that, it's going to move that whole rectangle. Okay, but I don't want that. So I'm going to deselect. If I do elliptical, it's the same thing, except it makes a circle or an oval or whatever shape you want. So once again, I can just move it. Now you can move just the selection if you would like. But um, if you want it to be a little closer to it, you can do it that way. Or like, let's say I had just this orange right here on its own layer. the the tools would then snap. So like if I did this, it would snap to the edge of that particular thing on that layer. But they are all on the same layer, so I need to think of something else. So I would then go on to my lasso tools. So you've got three different options. You have your standard lasso tool, your polygonal lasso tool, that's for like your straight lines, and then magnetic lasso tool is going to try to guess what you're trying to lasso. So if I did the normal lasso tool, and I will deselect this, I would just click and drag, and it's gonna let me just kind of do my selection there. And obviously that was super duper quick. Uh, obviously I probably wouldn't wanna do polygonal for this one because it is round, but I could try magnetic. Now some pictures, it works really, really well, and some it doesn't. So with this one, it might not work the best because there's just so much orange going on in here, it can't quite guess exactly what you want. But if you were just doing this to get a quick selection and then you were gonna mess with your selection later, this would work out just fine. So it looks like it just whoop, cut out that specific orange. So I'm gonna move it back. The last selection tools we are going to talk about in this quick video, because this is just for basics, are our magic quick select tools over here. So your magic wand tool is going to kind of try to pick areas that it thinks that you are looking for and you can mess with the tolerance and everything so it'll pick more or less if i hold shift it'll add more to that selection as it goes all right um you've got your quick selection tool which will give you a start and then it will kind of grow from there oh i'm on minus make sure you're on plus people and so it's gonna keep growing and I can change the size of this so that it would go faster or pick less areas but so there we go it has picked the inside of my orange so if I were to move it it's like we just cut the rind right off there okay and then your last but not least is your object selection tool now this one requires your computer to think a bit so you will probably be getting these little spinny wheels of death quite often. But so I would click and I'm going to make it start thinking and it's going to be like, okay, what are the different options in here? So depending on how complex your picture is, how fast your computer is, what other stuff you've got going on, all that lovely things, you may get the little spinny wheel of doom for longer, or you might just be like, boom, right there. So like if this was on like one orange on a white background, it would probably have an easier time. But it is not one orange on a white background. It is one orange on top of other oranges. So it's got to think a little bit. And it's just going to keep spinning. Spin, spin, spin. Sinking super hard. All right. And now it's going to switch over to my other spinning wheel of doom here. There we go. But that means that it's almost done. Do, 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 do. All right. So wherever I put the blue, that is what it's going to select. So let's say I want this one down in the corner. It is going to select just that object. And it's got to do its little spinning wheel of doom again. Boom. It has selected just that object. So let's say I'm like, you know what? Mm, I don't like any of that. So I can deselect. So remember, all of these are up there as well. So I can deselect if I want to select all, I can select all. And then you can also select by color range. So let's say I want to pick just the whites in here. I can do that. Or I suppose that's more of like a creamish color. And I can decide how much I want. So like, let's say I want to get rid of everything that isn't that fruit. That's not the greatest picture for this option, but still. So it will pick just that 
color range. Boom. But those are a quick reminder on how to do the different selection tools in our basic Photoshop walkthrough.